Dave, thanks a lot. We have our eye on Earth today. It's a reminder that there is still time to offset some of the impacts of heavy in industry and pollution. In Miami-Dade County this morning, the focus was on Crandon Park. It's an area that serves not only as a wildlife habitat, but a barrier island. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn takes us there. A very windy day didn't stop volunteers from giving Crandon Park some tender love and care. I think sometimes we forget uh, that we do have a role and one of them is to maintain it. Andrea Hoffman is one of the volunteers with Bancos Santander. To ensure that we have, you know, clean oxygen to breathe every day. As part of the Miami-Dade County's event to commemorate Earth Day, volunteers picked up trash and added sea oats to the shoreline. Sea oats, these plants here, help to anchor down the soil or the sand here, uh, even preventing some of that sand from flying all over the place, as well as taking some of that brunt force from strong winds. When we have parks, we have the opportunity for water to really flow in different directions. Maria Nardi oversees Miami-Dade County Parks, Recreation and Open Spaces. Uh, we are the green ribbon that wraps around the entire city that alleviates flooding, that provides places for water to go. She tells us keeping up green spaces and parks plays a critical role in preserving the earth year round. And everyone has a role in being stewards of this land. We live in paradise, I think. And a lot of people, unfortunately, do not uh, see that. Volunteers today saw it as clear as the blue sky on the beach. Everyone can do their part and help the earth. In Crandon Park, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.